Hello, Ken Weller with New Tech Inventors. Today, I was down at the new print farm and did a, took a few videos down there that I'm going to put together and share with you just to show you uh, where the new print farm is at today. And when I was doing that, I started thinking back to how this new print farm got started and the very beginning of it. So in this video, I'm going to actually go back in time and do a little collage of what it took to get here. It's been almost eight months to get to this point. So I'm going to show you where we started and a few of the steps that got us where we're at today. And this first video goes all the way back to January 20th, 2021. So, let's take a look and see what was going on that day. Collected a lot of junk, and a lot of it went into this building right here. So now I have an incentive to clean it up and utilize it for something. Why not a 3D print farm? This stuff in here is either personal junk or tools, stuff left over from the construction business. I'm going to clean this out, convert it to my second 3D print farm. This next video was February the 6th, 2021. Let's take a look. Okay, first day of the cleanup. Uh, where to get started? I think I will probably start on this side over here and then go to that area and clean that table off. Okay, we've been working for a while. We finally got these two tables folded up and got all the stuff cleared off of them. But you can see there's still plenty more to do. Okay, here we are another day. I'm going to spend a little more time trying to clean up the place. As you could see the last time I did this section here. Okay, I think my back's about to give out. So I think I'll call it a day here. But uh, as you can see, I did get this center section cleaned out. This next video was March the 1st, 2021. So let's see what happened that day. Okay, well, after a lot more hours than what I imagined, I finally got the uh, room here cleaned out for our 3D printer print room. This is where my secondary print farm is going to be located. So let's get on with the scraping and see how it does. Okay, I think my back's done all of the floor scraping I can do for one day. This next video was March 7th, 2021. Let's see what was going on that day. As you can see, I spared no expense 
and hired a professional to do the cleaning and floor painting and uh, I think he did a pretty good job for an old man uh, but now as you can see the uh, room is finally ready this next video was March 14th 2021 and we'll see what was going on As you can see, we're getting some shelves put up, the floor paint's dry. see we just put this shelf unit together still working on the print farm getting these shelves ready to go got our shelves all secured to the wall bolted together and we have our plywood in place for the shelves and today we're going to be looking at uh, putting together a few more ANET printers and doing some electrical work Okay, as you can see, now we're installing the electrical breaker panel, which will supply power to all of our printers in this room. As you can see, we're going along and installing the receptacles, and each one of these circuits will be 20 amps. 24 printers on this wall will have a 80 amp capacity there, and guarantee you my 24 printers aren't going to uh, pull 80 amps. On April 16th, we did our first test of 22 of the ANET printers at the new print farm. This was the first print job that we ran at the new print farm. Okay, here we are with the printers. This is next day. I decided to get some sleep last night. So I came down this morning and uh, thought I'd pick up where we left off. Okay, all of the printers have finished printing, even the one that we had running overnight. We're going to be able to produce uh, some pretty large quantities of parts now. So let's hope our sales are good. <laughs> Most all of these printers are brand new. This is the first time that they've actually printed anything. Since all of these are glass bed, and these glass beds, for the most part, have never been printed on before, most of the printers fared well. Okay, we'll call, I'm going to number these printers eventually, but we'll say this is number one. And it looks like it did a pretty good job. That one looks like it did all right. This one seems to print it all right. That one popped right off. The top row, by the way, these were all ET4s with automatic leveling. The printers on this row are ET4Xs. This would be printer 10. Part comes right off. It looks like printed pretty good on that job. Parts printed okay. Now we're going to go back down to number 17. Now on this row, these are uh, ET4 Pro printers. And see, they did a 
good job there. We had 13 that had absolutely no problems. Uh, one of them was a special part, that job that was printing, it had no problems. I had three printers, three printers that I had to restart. The five, they had these little silver tags we talked about, are the ones that didn't completely finish. Most of them did finish at least two of the parts, but they messed up and lost adhesion on the third part. I don't think it was a bad day. Considering brand new printers out of the box, we're basically wanting to show you where we're at now compared to where we were at five months ago when we did our first test print on some of these ANET printers over here. We have now added some more printers here and then in the other room we have some along with our resin printers over there. So until the next time, happy printing from New Tech Inventors.